It is official, everybody. There is a new type of stimulus check that has been just that has been launched recently, and there are billions of dollars in stimulus relief funds available just for you. So in this video, I'll be discussing the most important news on how to claim your stimulus check information. A ton of updates are going on, and I want you to know this: monthly checks for a thousand dollars are now being issued as part of a further economic relief to address the crisis continuing to be faced by many people. The monthly checks from last year. Happened for a year and a half in New York State through the Creative Rebuild New York program. In Los Angeles, California, the same amount will be distributed for three years through the Breathe program. For the stimulus relief program in Los Angeles, the call for applications to the program began on March 31st. People over the age of 18 who have been financially hit by the crisis are residents of LA's middle class neighborhoods and are not enrolled in other universal basic income programs can apply. As long as their income does not exceed the set of house the set income threshold. And this is really huge for people that live in Los Angeles. I know right now it can be a very difficult time for many of you guys. Now, not only in Los Angeles and New York, people are receiving stimulus checks, but also in the city of Chicago. There are other relief programs that are being established by state and local governments. For example, the Chicago mayor, alongside city leaders, announced this week that prepaid gas cards will be made available to qualifying Chicagoans amid rising gas prices. In a press conference, the mayor said, that the Chicago Moves program will dedicate about $12.5 million to help Chicago residents with transportation options as they continue to deal with inflation. Once the program is passed by the city council, about 150,000 Chicago households will receive assistance. And I definitely support this bill, and I definitely think it's a great idea that some states, some cities, are giving their residents stimulus checks. Do you think it's a good idea, folks? Tell me in the comments down below. So far, the IRS has actually issued more than 169 million payments in the third round of stimulus aid. Now, with the $1,400 stimulus checks reaching most people, so far, the federal response to the economic crisis caused by the crisis has paid out $3,200 to eligible adults, $1,200 under the CARES Act in March 2020, and $600 in December relief measure. But many advocates and lawmakers are pushing for a fourth round of stimulus aid. That would effectively send recurring payments until the crisis ends. Many lawmakers have actually picked up the idea of recurring stimulus checks, and that is definitely a great idea. 21 senators, all Democrats, were alerted to President Biden in support of recurring checks, pointing out that the $1,400 payments that were redistributed by the IRS only provided temporary relief. And a group of lawmakers included a broad range of Democrats, from moderates to progressives. The lawmakers did not specify, though, how large and frequent the payment should be. In a separate Democratic effort, led by Representative Omar of Minnesota, with more than 50 House members, also pushed for recurring payments for the duration of the crisis at least. In a tweet, Representative Omar specified that the Biden administration should approve $2,000 checks until the crisis ends. Plus, more than 150 economists have said that stimulus checks should be approved by everybody. And if you guys agree, tell me in the comments down below if you think it should be done. Senator from Vermont. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let me begin by congratulating the workers at Amazon in Staten Island, New York, who for the very first time were able to win a union organizing campaign against that giant corporation, which is owned uh, by Jeff Bezos, the second wealthiest person in America. Amazon spent over $4 million in trying to defeat the union organizing drive in Staten Island and in Bessemer. The independent union, the Amazon labor union, had almost no money at all for their grassroots campaign, but ended up with 55% of the vote. Congratulations, Amazon labor union, for your extraordinary and important victory. Madam President, I also want to congratulate the workers at Starbucks for their incredible union organizing efforts. Starbucks has coffee shops in some 15,000 locations all across America. And until a few months ago, none of them were organized. Then in December, workers in two shops in Buffalo, New York, voted to join a union. 
And that union organizing effort at Starbucks is spreading like wildfire all across the country. In fact, last Friday, workers in New York City successfully voted to form the first Starbucks union roastery and 10th union Starbucks coffee shop in the country. And in the coming weeks and months, Around 11.7 million people have already been settled. However, there is still a long way to go for everyone to receive their benefit. And now inflation is hurting some communities hard. As the crisis evolves and despite more than 169 million payments have been sent out, there is a continued push for a targeted fourth stimulus check. The Senior Citizens League, an nonpartisan advocacy group, actually started a pressure campaign to push Congress to send those on Social Security additional stimulus money. In a letter to leaders of Congress, the chairman actually called for one-off $1,400 stimulus checks. Now, such a measure could actually help defray the cost associated for some seniors from the 2022 cost of living adjustment, which was the highest in over 40 years, pushing them into even higher tax brackets. This is an all-in reaction to the high levels of inflation that the American economy is dealing with. Prices across the country are reaching record highs, and for those on a fixed income, like Social Security, for instance, they are seeing rapid increases and they are seeing rapid decreases in their purchasing power. Now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics has also reported that since October 2020, consumers are paying on average 6.2% more on their stuff, on their necessities. So, President Biden definitely has to do something about this and send out more stimulus checks as soon as possible. It's the thing that he must do, everybody. Tell me in the comments down below if you guys agree. Hello, everybody. I hope all of you guys are having a great day. Now, this is your fourth stimulus check update. In today's video, I'll be answering all of your questions surrounding the fourth stimulus check, your unemployment benefits, as well as your social security benefits. But first, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. On this channel, I always do my best in providing you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check information. So be sure to subscribe, everybody. Now, the text of the Bipartisan Infrastructure Package, which has officially been named the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, has yet to be released. Folks, this, might, this bill might include a fourth stimulus check and an increase in your social security benefits. So we're hoping that Congress does approve this bill. But with debate over the proposal beginning in the Senate, details over what Democrats and Republicans agreed to are trickling out. The debate officially started in the Senate after a procedural vote took place on July 28th. President Biden wrote in a Twitter post, we have reached a historic deal on infrastructure folks. The bipartisan infrastructure deal is the largest infrastructure bill in a century. It will grow the economy, create good paying jobs, and set America on a path to win the future. So what do you think about President Biden, everybody? Is he doing all that it takes to send out the fourth stimulus check?